charge of discharge of rhyme. Greedy comics, toys are hella sick, hella whackin' it. Take the bad hits, take the bad hits, start a mix. A subscribing machine for domains. Got some fighting skills, check it out. Whoa. Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing another Marvel Legends figure review. I'm not a Marvel Legend, but the Star Wars 6-inch Black Series, The Force Awakens, Captain Phasma. Thank you so much, Alfonso, for finding this figure for me. I am so grateful, man. I've been wanting this 6-inch Black Series figure for a very long time. I'm super, super stoked to open this thing. We get a nice image of Captain Phasma right over there. And on the side, it says Captain Phasma. And then on the back, there's a read-up. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it now. And she's number 6 over there. Ooh, that's my favorite number. All right, let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here is Captain Phasma in all of her silver glory. Ooh, look at the Phasma. How could you not get this figure in this pose? This is pretty much all we've seen of Captain Phasma so far, of her just walking around holding her gun or her just standing there. So hopefully we see her do some really cool stuff in this movie. Uh, hopefully she lasts longer than Boba Fett did and has a cooler death than Boba Fett or doesn't get killed at all. I don't know. I love the anticipation, though. And I really like this figure a lot. Lot. So anyway, let's take a closer look. So Captain Phasma comes with one accessory and that is her blaster, which I think looks great. I really love this off color silver goldish kind of color. I don't know what to call it. It's not quite gold, not quite silver. Right in between. I think it's a nice cool color. Same exact sculpt that we had gotten on the Snowtrooper officer's blaster though. You know, so it's not a unique gun over here. And I'm a little bummed out about that little extra black paint. I'm sure I could probably get that off somehow. I don't know. We'll see. But nice sculpted detail in this. I think it looks really Really good. Now Captain Phasma doesn't really have a trigger finger sticking out too much. You can see this is where that's supposed to go. It kind of rests in here a little bit better than shoving it all the way down like that. And same thing with this left side too. This is actually looks like a pretty decent gun holding hand as well, more so than a support hand. So the hand on this side and on the right side are very similar to each other. And just like the Stormtroopers, we do get gun storage, so I think that's awesome. You could just plug that right into her thigh. It looks really good. Now I can't tell you what it is exactly about the First Order Stormtrooper helmet design that I like so much, but I just think it looks really sleek. And the modifications changed over here for the Captain Phasma helmet just look really cool too. Just a very sleek design. Uh, just seeing the two of them side by side right here. I, I just think it's just very cool looking. I'm really digging this a lot. The silver paint came out great. I thought it was going to be a very dull silver, but it's a lot shinier than I thought it was going to be. Now it's not as shiny as having vac metal. Vac metal would have been the best way to go, I think. But I still think this looks very good. I really like it a lot. A uh, little kind of little blemishes right there, I guess, from the factory. We get some nice sculpted lines right there on the back. Uh, this is just awesome. I like the glossy black paint right there for the visor. You get some textured detail right there around the bill. I just think this is awesome. Now looking at her cape, I think it looks really good too. You can see some of the black bleeding from underneath. And you get that red trim going all the way around. And then come in not so much on the other side over here. Now a cool thing about this cape is that you can see little pieces to it and I really like the sculpted wrinkles throughout. You get this little piece right here so it looks like at one point in the movie she has herself just totally closed up by this cape. And you get these little pockets I guess right over there and right over here too. This is, I don't know, somewhat soft material, you know, not super pliable, but, you know, it does have some give to it. And it's long enough where you can get her to lean against it, but if you don't want her leaning against it, you don't have to, so it's not obnoxious or anything. Looking at the rest of the figure over here, it's pretty much just a Stormtrooper design, but it is, of course, changed, especially to fit the form of a woman. And I think that's great. I think that's awesome that Captain Phasma is a woman. I like how they have the texture right there sculpted in the joints. You get these same little panel pieces right over there. We already looked at the hands. And she has some nice hips right there. So I think that's cool. I like the wide hips. You know, you gotta give her some nice wide hips. And this little piece moves all by itself right here. Her belt, you can shift that around. You get that container piece right over there in the back. That looks pretty good. And I thought about trying to remove the cape, but I don't want to pull the head off. I tried pulling the head off, and I don't think I'm going to... I just don't want to risk breaking it. So I'm just going to leave that on there. And then looking at the legs again... Really good detail throughout. And, you know, it's just mostly a silver figure with some black. But it looks really cool to me, man. 
And we get another little black scuff right there on her shoe that I noticed, or her boot anyway. I'm not a big fan of that. Nice choice of plastic right there for the hinges right here. I think that looks great. And she does have peg holes at the bottom of her feet. Now Captain Phasma's articulation is a little bit restricted. For instance, you can't really get her head to look up much at all. Uh, that's as much as you're going to get, which is just barely looking up. She can look down quite a bit though, so I think that's pretty cool. You can rotate the head side to side, and you get a little bit of neck pivot in there, so I think that's nice. And this left shoulder can only move outward that much unless you rotate the cape around, which you can do. So moving that outside, you can do that. Same thing with the right shoulder. That goes inside right there. I think that's a smart move that they made that work. And you can get her shoulders moving forward. She does not have a bicep swivel. She only has a single jointed elbow, which is a bummer. She does have rotation at the elbow. She has a wrist swivel. And then she hinges in and out right there at the wrist. And same articulation right here on this side. She has a diaphragm joint that moves side to side. You do get some pivot right here here and she does crunch forward that much it's kind of hard to see because of the cape she does crunch back a little bit more than that so nice range of movement over there and then her hips can only move outward this much and she can kick forward quite a bit which I like she can kick back a little bit she has an upper thigh swivel she does have double jointed knees so you can bend those all the way in then her ankles move down they move up and she does have ankle pivot Now, Captain Phasma is not short by any means she's standing just a little under seven inches tall then here's our six inch Captain Phasma next to my Funko Pop little bobblehead, and then we have the 18 inch right here from Asbro. Whoa, that's a big Phasma! And to compare Captain Phasma to another character played by Gwendolyn Christie, we have Brienne of Tarth. Thank you, Theron. And you can see that she's just a little bit shorter than Captain Phasma. And then to compare Captain Phasma to some other six inch black series Force Awakens figures, we have a retail stormtrooper. Thank you, Chew. And we have Kylo Ren. And you can see Phasma is standing much taller than both of these. And then here's Captain Phasma next to the STCC exclusive black series Boba Fett. And then here's Captain Phasma next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Let down Spider-Man. Ooh, your armor is really shiny. Hey, I can see myself. Ah! So I really like this figure a lot, not just because I'm really stoked about the character, but it just looks very cool to me. The cape does restrict some of the articulation, but you can still get her in somewhat dynamic poses, and I like doing that, especially because I haven't seen her in any of the trailers do anything like this, so I like pretending, you know? I don't know, it's just kind of fun. Anyway, I hope you guys liked my review. If you did, please hit the like button, click any of these boxes right over here if you want more shark in your face. If you're 18 years of age or older, please check out the Patreon account. Your help is very much appreciated. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and go to JediInsider.com for the latest in Star Wars news. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Posing action figures, posing action figures, posing action figures every day. I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, it's okay. That's crispy. And then just like the... And, uh, and,